The economic impact for these family farmers is large and they're already feeling the strain. Chicken farming for Pete Watson and Roger Reynolds is more than just a job, it's a way of life. Reynolds owns Triple R Farms and has for nearly 40 years but it's changed since the Tyson processing plant closed in May. With the loss of a growing contract with Tyson, Reynolds' four broiler houses that used to be home to 144,000 chickens sit empty. His two daughters that once helped run the farm forced to find different work. Watson shares a similar story. Tyson Foods paid out the 50 farmers impacted by the closure, but Watson and Reynolds say their future and the future of generational farming in Virginia is still uncertain and other local businesses are feeling a trickle down effect from grain to natural gas, even equipment sales. And when local businesses suffer, so does the county's tax revenue. Farm products are Nottoway County's largest industry and poultry and eggs make up the largest part of that industry. It, it, when you stand back here and you look here and this is empty, it's sad, it's very sad. It's some of the poorest counties in the state. I mean, we're already struggling with economics and now you take this away. These farmers aren't giving up and neither is their county. Learn how the county is stepping in to help these farmers find work and the challenges they're facing and bringing a new plant to Southside Virginia. That's going to be in my full story that's going to air right here on CBS 6 this evening at 6 and 11. In studio, I'm Caroline Colburn, CBS 6 News.